We're dealing with math 100. Lab number 11, we're going to deal with slopes and graphing in this section. Uh, one of the important things that we'll need to talk about are slope formula, uh, which is the rise over run. Uh, we'll deal with the slope being equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, that coming from two different ordered pairs. Uh, the rise over run, change in y over change in x. And then we also need to be aware of the slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where m indicates the slope and b is the y intercept of our equation. And uh, let's look at some examples. Uh, first one, we want to find the slope between uh, these two points. So we would employ the slope formula. So 12 minus 5, that would be subtracting the y's on the top. And since we started with 12 in the y, uh, in the top of the, the formula, we need to start with negative 7. That goes along with that, minus negative 7. Happens to be the same number. So then we have 7 over negative 7 minus negative 7 ends up being 0. And remember that 0 under the line is undefined. That is an undefined slope. Would indicate a vertical line. And then here we have another problem. Find the slope between these two points. Uh, so here we have uh, 5 minus 5 on top, and then 2 minus negative 7 on the bottom. It would be 0 over 9, which is 0, which would give us an indication that this is a horizontal line. with 0 rise over an infinite run. Okay. Uh, so let's look at this particular equ equation. We want to graph it using the intercepts. So when we're finding intercepts, uh, if it's in slope-intercept form, the y-intercept is always easy to find. It's right there. So negative 3 would be that. If it's not in slope-intercept form, we can take this approach where we plug a 0 in for x and get negative 3 as the y-intercept. So 0, negative 3 would be the correct y-intercept. So we can plot that point right there. Uh, to find the x-intercept, that would be replacing y with a 0. So I could just set that problem up. 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 and solve it for x. 3 equals 2x divided by 2. And x is 3 over 2 or 1.5. So the order there, 1 and a half. 0. So there's that 1 and a half. And then we graphed it. If you followed the slope intercept form of that equation and graphed it that way, putting your y intercept at negative 3 and then going up 2 over 1, you'll notice that you do end up on that line perfectly each time there. So it still works that way. But using intercepts, if you're asked to find those, plugging zeros in for x to get the y intercept, plug a zero in for y to get the x intercept. Now, find the slope of this line. So we've given an equation and asked to find its slope. The easiest way to do that is to just get it in slope-intercept form. So we want to take y and get it by itself. So we're going to take this equation and, and subtract 4x to start off with. And then we'll divide by 7 into everybody. And there's y by itself. Negative 4 over 7. x plus 2 over 7. And our slope is negative 4 sevenths. And we're, that just answered the question there. Uh, and that number 2 from the lab there. Uh, if we're going to graph that, it's got a fraction for a y-intercept. So that makes it a little bit more difficult to do. Now, if we're going to do two-thirds as a y-intercept, you want to think, okay, well, that's two-thirds right here. That's, that's a little less than uh, one, uh, closer to one than it is to zero. And then we're going to rise five and run six. But when I count my rise, I go to the two-thirds mark at each step. One, three, four, five, and then go over six. And notice how I'm at the two-thirds spot there. And then that would be my line that I would draw there. So with fractions, that's how you want to approach that. Okay. 
So that is lab number 